Dodge Garage. What's it like to drive a fully restored, freshly finished, well not quite finished, 70 Cuda with a big block and a four speed. When I first started here at Rocket about five months ago, this thing was still in pieces. Now it's almost done. I made a video on the drivetrain install, but uh, well, I never finished it. So we'll just go ahead and include some clips of that here. Body drop. Body drop. In case you didn't know, this is how the factory did it. They dropped the bodies onto the full assembled K-frame suspension engine and all that stuff. Now, <laughs> in the factory, tell you what to do. Oh, no. <laughs> You're gonna be the fucking pivot. Okay. Theory. Well, this is kind of moving. Okay. Everything's going great. Ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I am the lock release. Damn. What do you see, Jamie? You're helping. Uh, nothing? Everything's fine. You're filming. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, stop it. Okay. It's just that easy. Finishing this car has been a bit of a process. It had um, experienced what we'll call a traumatic event uh, many years ago and had to be repaired with a lot of metal work done over there. Because of that, well, for one thing, aligning the front end was challenging. I never put that video out either, but we'll go ahead and include some clips of that here. Today on Dead Dodge Garage, can you fix the crappy alignment on your CUDA with a ratchet strap? Let's find out. Okay. Well, this is really hard to do with one hand. Ah, uh, well, the short answer is no. Now, note, this is not a to-the-letter factory restoration. For one thing, this is a 3D3 car, but that's a 440. It's also kind of gnarly. We broke that one in on the Mopar or No Kart. I think that video was about six weeks ago. You can go find that if you want. Teething problems. Everything's fine. ticking sound. A lot of work has gone into making the trim and such fit perfect. There's been quite a bit of science in fact. Turns out aftermarket quarter panel plus aftermarket trim piece equals, well not exactly perfection, but thanks to my coworker Trev's efforts, this looks pretty darn good. Again, since it's not exactly to the letter factory, the car got a neat undercoating job here. It looks nice, really helped Give it that finished look. One of the big holdups on getting this thing finished was a bit of a delay waiting for the seats to come back. But here they are, and they're in the car. There are plenty of little touches to get to still, but at this point, with the interior done, the drivetrain all together, the suspension torqued, alignment done, it's time to figure out what it drives like. This car is definitely not perfect, but you know what it is? Perfect for driving and enjoying. So that's cool. All right, let's see what this 444 speed thing is about. hard to do one-handed. This thing has a pretty gnarly exhaust, so uh, I think we're pretty much contractually obligated to do a cold start. See how it does with no choke and a kind of badly tuned demon.
because I drive it like a coward, you know. This is just a shakedown ride. Still needs tuning, among other things. First use of the new seatbelt. Yeah, needs more accelerator pump for one thing. We'll do some light tuning in another video. I'll tell you what, I took this car for a drive when it had no interior. Ridiculous. Yeah, this exhaust isn't exactly quiet. Sounds nice though. Challenger. Drives good.
at least it didn't go flying. Actually, it's the e-brake pad. Also, I'll go ahead and clean that. Remind me to put a mat in next time. Eh, it's fine. Oh, speaking of mat, Trev dynamated the entire interior of this car and man, it worked. It's really quiet in here, despite the insane exhaust. I shouldn't say really quiet, relatively quiet. I love the Cuda hood. It's awesome. I guess I need to clean the mud off the quarter panels now. If you've been around the channel for very long, you probably know my biggest complaint about e-bodies is the lack of practicality, and namely, the tiny trunk. It does apparently fit a replacement carpet kit box. Barely. Not a lot of space in the back seat either. B-bodies have much more in this area. They sure are fun though, and they're definitely attractive. Eh, like it never happened. Welcome to Western Washington, enjoy your stay. Well, there you go. Another big block four-speed Cuda saved and back on the road pretty soon here. I love it. And if you liked it, you should do me a favor. Do the YouTube things. Hit like on this video, cause that does stuff for the algorithm, the thingy that brings people to see my videos. Yeah, stuff. And if you like me are kind of fond of Cudas and other classic Mopars, well, Maybe you should subscribe because I've got more coming up. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember, there's always a bigger fish. You know, sometimes I think to myself, does this even count as like a real job? I'm not sure, but well, they keep paying me. <laughs>